everybody. So, uh, so much Disney Night Tonight here, and today I'm here with Todd Habercorn. Yeah, so uh, can you tell the viewers here, like, uh, who do you voice? Oh my gosh, uh, Natsu from Fairy Tale, The Drifter from Destiny 2, Death the Kid from Soul Eater, and a few more. Wow, so first question up is, uh, what made you personally get into voice acting? You know what, uh, I, I, it found me, and I didn't run away from it, and I'm glad it did. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, how, so for voice acting, uh, when it comes to that, uh, what kind of media do you do, like, you know, like anime, cartoons, or video games? Oh, uh, all of the above uh, is, is a lot of fun, but I, I really like working on uh, video games because I'm a gamer myself. Oh, really? And who inspired you to become a voice actor or something like that? Oh, uh, well, I'll go with something like that because I didn't know voice acting was a thing. Um, but I, I started out as an on-camera guy and, and uh, had a lot of inspiration uh, from folks that did that. And I'm glad I'm here. Wow, really? Because there were a lot of VAs that inspired me. Like, personally, like, let me tell you, I actually have, uh, like, I want to go, like, the extra mile, like, voice characters in both English. But not just English, but I also want to appeal to audiences for Latin America as well. Sure, awesome. And that's, uh, that's needed, of course. And bilingual talent is... Uh, yeah. It's rare, so that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, there were a few actors that inspired me to want to go, like, doing international releases for characters like like Antonio Manderas, who voices Puss in Boots. Yeah. Like, I've seen the third trailer of The Last Wish, where uh, the part where he goes like this, well, I mean, also another character, Harvey Guillen, voices a perrito, also voices him in Spanish as well, Latin America, for um, the difference is for English, how he goes like this, which is, <gasps> your Puss in Boots? Let's talk. <laughs> No hablo inglés. ¿Hablas español? Yo también. ¿De dónde eres? ¿Te gustan las fiestas? I don't speak Spanish either. And for Latin American, how he goes, they go, oh, ¿Eres el gato con botas? Hay que hablar. No hablo con la boca llena. ¿Eres español? Yo también. ¿De dónde eres? ¿Te gustan las fiestas? Tampoco hablo con la boca llena. And then there's a Super Mario Bros. movie. Uh, Charles Marnay was the jump man in the movie where he says, Too much. It's a perfect. And it says also right here in my shirt. Oh, yeah, 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 right there. Yeah, I actually once saw the Japanese version, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. Where Charles Marnay instead, he just says, Zen, zen, it's a perfect. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> perfecto, jefe. Yeah. Perfecto, jefe? Sí. Oh. You speak Spanish as well? Un poquito, sí. Ah, un poco sí. español. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I studio uh, para cinco años en mi escuela. <laughs> en, en cinco años en tu escuela, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, in, 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 in colegio. In tu colegio. Sí, ah. Ah. Oh yeah, and uh, there's actually uh, Charles Barnet also speaks Spanish as well. Actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. he because he studied abroad up in uh, Spain actually. Oh okay. Cool. Oh yeah, and also France. He studied as well there. Uh, he's been all over. Like in Spanish for both European and Latin American. For European he goes, Bavarde está perfecto. Woohoo! And Latin American, demasiado está perfecto. Woohoo! And then there's French, both European and Canadian. He does, which he goes. Throw for say, my perfecto. Wahoo! Well, that's awesome. Yeah, man. you you are encyclo you are an encyclopedia. Yeah, other international releases does like Italian. Troppo e perfetto. Uh, Portuguese, both European and Brazilian. European, I don't know of, but for Brazilian, Gmais e perfecto. Wahoo! German, Sufil e dis perfecto. Wahoo! <laughs> and Dutch, Tafil e dis perfecto. Well, and then can't forget uh, Polish, Susada, yes, perfecto. And then Serbian, Bredische, Spedje, perfecto. Very well, impressive. And I've also done, I've also seen a TikTok about, uh, there was a watermark of Asian American, uh, Pacific Islander Heritage Month on one of your TikTok videos. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. do you happen to be Asian American? Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Vietnamese ancestry? Uh huh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and Charles Barnet actually does Giuseppe in Vietnamese. Oh, right on. Like, oh, where cool. he does, lower, you perfecto. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, personally, that's how you. I also once used Vietnamese when I was at a Vietnamese restaurant one oh, time. Okay, all like, right. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, you, you got it under control, man. You're, you, it sounds like yeah. you don't, you, you're doing just fine. <laughs> yeah, I sound like I have it under control, but it depends on the inside if I have it under control, really. I think that's everybody. Yeah, personally, actually. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's also, uh, I also have these two friends uh, from Europe, actually. One's from the UK and Switzerland. I show them my voices, actually. Like, I met a lot of other voice actors, actually. Yeah. Half of the voices I can do similar to, like, uh, when I went to Keith Silverstein right here in Unlock the Con, 
uh, voice of Back to the Crocodile and Sonic the Hedgehog, where you go, yeah, no choice, <laughs> except for them fine footprints right there. <laughs> yeah, of course, my friend thought it was Barney from The Simpsons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. that one all guy right. who just burps all, right. all the time. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I actually had this adult friend, like, when I told him I can do South Park voices, I can do a lot of them. Well, sounds I believe you. You've got every language in the book covered already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, very cool, Javier. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, okay. Well, well, good luck to you. Uh, yeah. uh, good luck to me. I'm going to need it. You're out yeah. there doing your thing. Yeah. yeah. Bye. See y'all. <laughs>